Pertandingan tinju kelas berat antara Laman Brewster melawan Andre Gulota. Seorang petinju kelas berat kelahiran Polandia yang memiliki reputasi sebagai seorang kelas berat yang tangguh, namun terkenal kotor. Bahkan Andre Gulota yang sering kali mengabaikan peraturan-peraturan di atas sering tinju, mendapat julukan sebagai tiang pelanggar oleh beberapa kritikus tinju. Dalam satu pertarungannya pada tahun 1995, Andre Gulota menggigit bahu dari seorang lawannya yaitu Samson Pouha. Hingga berhasil memenangkan pertarungan itu lewat kemenangan TKO di ronde yang kelima. Dan setahun kemudian Andre Gulota kembali menunjukkan tindakannya yang tidak terpuji. Dengan membenturkan kepalanya ke wajah lawannya ketika menghadapi petinju asal Amerika Serikat. Yaitu Daniel Nicholson. Dan sejak itu nama Andre Gulota makin dikenal sebagai seorang petarung yang brutal di atas ring tinju. Dan empat bulan berserang setelah Andre Gulota membenturkan kepalanya ke wajah Nicholson. Pada tanggal 11 Juli tahun 1996. Ketika digelarnya pertandingan antara Andre Gulota versus Rudy Boy. Andre Gulota harus didiskualifikasi di ronde yang ketujuh pada pertandingan itu. Yaitu akibat pukulan terendah yang berulang kali dia lakukan Dengan mengabaikan peringatan dari wasit pertandingan Hingga menjadikan ring tinju berubah menjadi arena keributan pada saat itu Dan menyebabkan banyak orang terluka termasuk delapan orang polisi yang bertugas pada saat itu Dan lima bulan kemudian pertarungan antara Andre Gulota versus Rudy Boy yang kedua digelar di New Jersey, Amerika Serikat. Namun Andre Gulota kembali harus didiskualifikasi karena hal yang sama. Yang menyebabkan dirinya didiskualifikasi pada pertandingan pertama mereka. Yaitu pukulan terendah yang sering dilakukannya dan mengabaikan peringatan-peringatan dari wasit pertandingan. Dan pada tahun 2010, Andre Gulota berkesempatan melawan Mike Tyson Yang harus meninggalkan kekecewaan besar bagi para penggemar tinju pada saat itu Yaitu ketika Andre Gulota pergi keluar meninggalkan ring tinju dengan hanya menyelesaikan dua ronde saja pertarungannya melawan Mike Tyson Dari 10 ronde yang sudah direncanakan namun pada pertandingan antara Andre Gulota versus Lamon Broster yaitu pada tanggal 21 Mei tahun 2005 lalu di United Center Chicago Amerika Serikat Andre Gulota tidak memiliki kesempatan sedikit pun untuk melakukan sesuatu kecurangan seperti yang pernah dia lakukan pada beberapa pertandingannya di masa lalu karena pada pertandingan ini begitu berronde pertama dibunyikan Lamon Broster langsung maju menyerang dan berhasil menjatuhkan Andre Gulota sebanyak tiga kali Di awal ronde pertama pertandingan ini untuk memenangkan pertarungan ini lewat kemenangan TKO Yaitu 58 detik di ronde yang pertama Andrew Gulota, for a very big man, has an excellent quick jab and good foot movement Lamon Brewster comes out as the attacker and begins hooking and right crossing away and bomb And that was the smartest thing, that's it. Galata will not recover from this. I can promise you that uh, Brewster's going to jump right back on top of him. He's smart. He did a smart thing, get on him early. He Set knows. up for a first round knockout. Right. He saw what Lennox did to him. And he knows that's the way to get him. Second knockdown. This is the Galata who froze against Lennox Lewis. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> that's a very good point. He didn't freeze. That's a very good point. He got iced. By Again. a guy who came ready to make his statement and has just made it with three quick knockdowns of Andrew Galata, a sensational left hook performance, a big statement making first round KO win for Lehman Rooster. Well, that certainly makes us want to see him again. <laughs> uh, to, to, we've always wondered why a fighter as tough and determined and having a great chin as he has 
hasn't shown it on offense. And times you need new blood in your camp. He got new blood in his camp. Somebody convinced him that he could go out and do this without taking all these punches, and he did it. Jesse Reed, throughout a relatively obscure career as a trainer, has handled 19 different world champions. He knows what he's doing. He got a groin. Yeah, he see him tilt and come with a beautiful left hook to the body, right off it with a hook to the head, beat Andrew Galata to the punch, and down Andrew went. Once again, you see overhand right, another left hook, Try to throw an overhand right in Mr. And here comes that big left hook to the body. Boom, left hook to the head. Just caught Andrew trying to throw his own left hook. And down he went. Here you see him coming a left hook to the, body, to the head, a right hook to the body, and another left hook to the head. That really hurt Andrew. And he followed that with an overhand right. And there's another right by the shot, followed by another vicious left hook to the head. There you go. Great and left down hook he there. Goes again. And Galata was truly stunned by that last left hook there. And I must say, there's that. Left hook that did all the damage anyway. A good left jab. He just kept the pressure on Galata. Never gave him a chance to relax. Never gave him a chance to get his head back. The left hook was superior tonight. The left hooks that he finally threw toward the end of the fifth round against Vladimir Klitschko. He came out of the corner throwing them in the first round tonight. And that's why I say Andrew didn't freeze. He just got caught. He got froze. He didn't freeze. He was trying. He just got caught. The guy was smart. He paid attention. He did his homework. He saw how Lennox Lewis came out and shut him out. He saw how Mike Tyson, Tyson and then quit in his corner after the second round. The Galata who was blown away in less than a minute and a half by Lennox Lewis against a heavyweight who came out aggressively and took advantage of him. And this is why I say people should take advantage of opportunity when they get it because he had opportunities he should have cashed in on. Tonight we thought he was going to get another opportunity, but he never got a chance to get into the fight. A big boost to Brewster's reputation, or does it get discounted because he was fighting Andy? A big boost to, boost to his reputation. I don't care who he was fighting. He came out and showed true championship mentality tonight. He came in this ring like the champ. He attacked like the champ. He proved to the world tonight that he feels like he's a legitimate championship contender. I feel good that the... Uh, Many Polish Americans in the audience got a victory in the light heavyweight championship fight earlier because they're desperately disappointed by this. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars. Here at the United Center, Chicago, Illinois, the end comes at 53 seconds of the very first round. The winner by TKO victory and still WBO heavyweight champion of the world. Relentless! Lamer!